Hey everyone, now we're at turn 6 of Evil Empire vs. Lizard. So nothing terribly surprising happened. Uh, I wasn't attacked or anything. Um, in this turn, one new development is I explored this new planet. And it turns out it has a, a lot of geranium. Uh, not only are its geranium supplies abundant, but it's also got reptilian natives, which will double the mining rate. So this is a pretty important planet for me to have. Um, Evil Empire doesn't need Duranium that much, but uh, they are still important for Disruptors, and uh, you do basically want to not have a shortage of Duranium. And perhaps more importantly, I also want to deny the Lizard access to more Duranium, just in case he might be experiencing a shortage. So I think I'm going to try to settle this planet, and I'm going to try to make it my own. Another important resource for Evil Empire is Molybdenum. Molly is actually pretty important for everyone. Um, and it can be scarce in Blitz games often, so what you want to do is you want to try to avoid using lots of it. Um, sources of Duranium, uh, or rather, things that cost a lot of Duranium are heavy beams. Uh, anything bigger than Disruptors are going to have a pretty big Molly cost and uh, expensive engines, um, especially if you build the Warp 9 engines, uh, those are quite expensive in Mali, and they're usually best avoided. Um, I have a small molybdenum supply here, it's 35%, which is pretty low, um, but it's better than nothing, and I think I might try to control that planet ultimately too. Okay, so looking at military score this turn, keep in mind that the lizard enemy knows that I have a Gorby headed right towards them. So if they were smart, they should start preparing defenses for that right away. Uh, if I were them, I would probably try to stop it with some combination of a torpedo ship and a carrier. Uh, that could work by Maybe building a T-Rex and following it up with a Madonzilla class carrier. Or you could maybe try uh, two LCCs. Uh, one of them could tow my Gorby back to a Starbase. And then the Starbase could try finishing it off with its own fighters. Uh, in any event, uh, torpedo ships don't do that well against Gorbys, so probably what my opponent is to do if they're smart is try to destroy it with a combination of fighters and torpedo ships. So if we look at their auto score, I see that they built a warship this turn and their military score is 21-21. So what did they build? Well let's take a look at the military score calculator. 21-21 uh, isn't that high a score and at first glance it looks like they might have built another LCC, but that doesn't really fit with the strategic situation. Um, that would be a really bad move right now when there's a Gorby coming down on you. Um, so what I have up here is I've got the settings for what kind of engine I'm looking for. Um, so what would happen if I put a cheaper engine on there? Well, if I go all the way down to Star Drive 1, I see, oh, look at this. We have an exact match here in red. It's possible that he built a Madonzilla class carrier with Warp 1 engines and lasers. That would be consistent with what makes sense in this strategy to use a carrier that he expects to lose against my Gorby. Um, so. Based on this score, it's quite possible that he built a Madonzilla last turn and no torpedoes or anything to screw up the score. So that's going to inform my strategy. I'm going to have to think about that as I decide where to attack next turn. So it's possible I might be able to get to his home planet in two turns. Um, but is this really a good idea? Um, I think that I probably should do something else. I think I should probably start attacking his planets instead. Um, 
Based on his early strategy, he built a, lar a lot of large deep space freighters, which suggests to me that there's probably some good native planets nearby. Um, and that means he's probably making money from them, and, and so that's a threat to me. I could attack his homeworld directly, but if I only, all I do is take out a couple of his ships and then lose my Gorby, then I've really lost the advantage. Um, my economy is still developing, and if I leave his untouched and I lose my Gorby, then I think that he'll be in a, a advantageous position. So. Right now I'm leaning towards, I should attack his planets. Uh, by attacking his planets, I can disrupt his income from taxing natives. And with luck can also disrupt his mineral production for a while too. And hopefully this will give me enough time to build up my own economy uh, to put myself in a position where I'm more likely to win. So I'm not really sure where to attack. Uh, I could go here or I could go there, but I think I'm just going to try going here. Uh, it's possible he might have a cloaked LCC waiting for me to tow me back to his homeworld, but the distance here is pretty long, I think. It's 71 light years, so he'd have to go warp 9 if he wants to tow me all the way back. Uh, he won't have enough fuel for that with his warp 7 engines on the LCCs, so I think this is the way to go. I'm just going to do it systematically. Probably strike there, then go there on the next turn if I can. Uh, I might not be able to do that. It might be too far. Um, but basically, harass his economy, keep him on the defensive, um, and hopefully I'll be able to build up my economy while he's busy trying to defend himself. Okay, so we see that this MDSF discovered this nice Duranium planet with some natives, so I'm just going to drop all of the clans and supplies there. And I'm going to head back to this planet where there's a big population, and I'm going to probably get more supplies and more native, more uh, clans to bring to this Duranium planet on the next turn. Uh, this Superstar Frigate arrived intact at its destination, so I'm going to deploy that big minefield right here. And right away that makes me feel a lot safer knowing there's this big minefield in his way, so he's not going to be able to easily raid my economy here, where I have all these planets, or to attack my starbase, without taking some risks uh, of going through that minefield and getting decloaked and possibly killed. If he wanted to attack my avian planet back here, he'd have to go all the way around the minefield, which would take a long time, so I feel pretty good with this size minefield right here. Uh, my next question though is do I want to maybe build a small minefield around here as well? I think I think I do. I think I'm going to try to take this planet and maybe just save, save 10 torps and build a small little minefield there. I mentioned earlier that I was doing taxation down to 40 happiness here, but you may notice that um, when you use the built-in client, there's an overtaxing that automatically happens. Um, so it's going to tax at 30%, which normally would give me 2,268 credits, but because my population is limited, it will only give me 2,227. So what I like to do is I like to hang back from that uh, to avoid losing 40 mega credits, I'll just reduce taxing by one. And that way I get the most efficiency. I get the most income relative to the happiness drain that I'm causing. I did mention that uh, I wanted to build some defense posts here uh, to protect my population and my income, but I, I have a feeling that the enemy is, is not sending his LCCs right now. I have a feeling that he's probably hanging them back and probably going to play defensively to deal with my Gorby. So instead of spending 800 mega credits uh, right now on defense, I'm just going to not invest that yet. I think I'm going to want that money back home for shipbuilding and maybe laying more minefields. 
But one thing I do like to do is I, I like to build one defense post everywhere I go. Um, this makes it so that whenever the enemy approaches and attacks the planet with torpedoes, <clears throat> he has to spend a lot more torpedoes because now the planet has shields. And this only cost me 10 mega credits, but he can lose a lot of torpedoes, which makes it easier to take out his attacking ship later. So I'm just going to do that for now. Uh, I've got this medium deep space freighter I've just built. And... Let's see. I'm going to drop these LDSF cargoes. I think I'm going to send one more LDSF over here. Clans. And I think actually what I'm gonna do instead, because I need that money right now, is I'm gonna I'm gonna send the LDSF here first. And I'm gonna grab the money that's at this planet. Alright, so what can I build right now? Well, when you're e Evil Empire, one of the things you have to consider is how many fighters am I producing per turn? Right now I'm producing 15 per turn, which is pretty good, but I'm transferring those fighters using Starbase Fighter Transfer to the Scorby. So even if I were to build a new ship like an SSD or a Superstar Carrier, uh, I'm not going to have the fighters to really do anything with it right now. So. I, I, it doesn't really make sense for me to build another carrier right now. So the remaining options I have are I could build a, an MDSF uh, to go explore more planets and settle. Uh, I could build another Superstar Frigate to lay more minefields, uh, including offensively. So if I wanted to deny this middle area to the opponent, I think I'm, it would make sense to send a Superstar Frigate there and just lay a big minefield. Uh, right now that idea has the most appeal to me. And another thing that I do, uh, sometimes I build RU-25 gunboat. Um, this might seem like a useless ship, and it kind of is, but it is the most efficient minesweeper. So if I thought my opponent was going to lay some mines, uh, what I would do is I would build a gunboat with really cheap engines, Warp 5, um, and some disruptors, and I, I would end up with an extremely efficient minesweeper, uh, a really cheap one, costs only 137 mega credits, 63 duranium for four beams, and it's very light on fuel consumption as well. So using those cheap engines is not a problem. I think what I'm going to do though is I'm just going to either go for the. I think I'm going to go for another superstar frigate. Right now, what I have is I have mega credits, so I can afford to spend. And I don't have fighters, so pretty much my best option, I think, is to go for more mine light. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm still thinking about this planet down here, and I'm wondering, hmm, <laughs> what's down here? Could it be something I, I would find useful? Maybe some nice natives or a molly supply? I'm tempted to send a ship down there, but uh, I don't think that is really logical right now. I think a better choice would probably be to focus on this middle area, try to lay some mines to deny it to the enemy, and maybe also check out those planets myself and see if maybe they have things that I need like molly. So after thinking about it some more, I've decided uh, the most efficient way to use my ships is to send my large deep space freighter down to this reptilian planet with some supplies. Uh, that will allow me to tax the natives really quickly and also bring a lot of supplies there to get mining started as soon as possible. Um, and then I'm going to send my medium deep space freighter here with the bad engines. 
just to pick up these mega credits and bring them back home for more shipbuilding in mine lane. And then this medium deep space freighter is actually going to be the one that's going to go up here next turn. Um, it's got the warp 9 engines and it's a bit less of a risk than sending a large deep space freighter. And basically doing it this way I think allows me to utilize all of my ships effectively and it's the most efficient way to go forward. So that's the way I'm going to end my turn this time.